Hi, I'm Ali and welcome to my channel. Today I've got my weekly Woolworths shopping haul to share with you, plus a tiny IGA haul because I could not get dog food in Woolworths. Uh, some of the shelves were so bare today that I'm really starting to think I need to stash a few things between now and Christmas because we are coming up to a super busy time in town and I was actually shocked with how little that was there. I do believe it's got a little bit to do with the floods over east. Apparently there has also been a major trail derailment, derailment somewhere in South Australia. Uh, one of my subscription boxes has been sitting in Sunshine West or somewhere in Victoria since the 13th of November. Today's the 26th of November. So I haven't had as many boxes to share with you. I think they're all going to arrive at once, but I've also been away as well. So that may also um, sort of explain I've got a little bit of uh, catching up to do. So let me quickly share with you what I've got. Now I had to go to IGA. These dog rolls, these are the one kilo proto pack. Our dogs do eat the three kilo ones of these, but they're very hard to come by. So I managed to get two of the lamb and vegetable and one of the beef steak dinner. So these are one kilo. Now these will get through until the week because today's Saturday. So these will get through until I can actually hopefully find some in town again. Um, we have had a dog at the vets if you managed to see my vlog from when I went away. Um, so I'm very hesitant to feed him anything other than plain dog food and biscuits for now just to so his tummy doesn't get upset so they cost me $3.99 each so it was $11.97 for three kilos of dog food which is just crazy we were paying sort of five dollars for three kilos there for a while in Woolies but beggars can't be choosers that's what I needed so here's my Woolies shop now I'm very excited to share with you Woolworths, Christ Woolworths rewards Christmas dollars are in so because of the crazy few weeks we've had, I cashed some in. So let me show you what I actually got. We haven't had sweet potatoes for a while. These are only tiny, but I picked up two small ones. It was 400 grams around about, and they were $4.90 a kilo. So it was $2.02 .02 for two little ones. I'll either, probably di I'll either dice them and bake them, um, or I will slice them and we'll do sweet potato chips in the air fryer. I picked up a nice little piece of broccoli. Now, it doesn't have much stem on it, which was really good. This was $4.90 a kilo. It's about 300 grams, so it cost me $1.46, which is excellent. So I got some good um, specials today as well, which made me really happy. Now, I've got a couple of capsicums. I've got, well, I've got four capsicums in total. I've got two red ones. These were $13.90 a kilo, so 450 grams has cost me $6.28. But I will let you know what I'm going to do with those in a moment because now I've got some green ones. These are only $10.90 a kilo. So 400 grams cost me $4.33. When I got to the fruit and veggie shop um, section, these weren't even put on the shelf. So they're nice and shiny fresh. What we're going to do, one of my recipes this week is a, like a Philly steak stuffed zucchini. Oh, not zucchini, capsicum. We had zucchinis last week. So uh, you cut them in half, you cook up some um, finely sliced beef with some onion and some seasonings and things like that. You top it with cheese and you bake it. So I'm just going to do those this week and we'll see how they go. Just as something a bit different, but very happy with those that we actually scored them as they were putting them out. Now I got a... Um, the Della Rosa pizzas, the three pack of cheese pizzas. These weren't on special, but they're $7.70 for three cheese pizzas. My son loves just a plain cheese pizza and he will eat one of these on his own for tea if we happen to be having a pizza night. Or I use these to add extra, like our own, you know, salamis, capsicum, onion, olives, pineapple, you know, extra cheese, whatever we want to add onto them. So they're a good thing to have just stashed in the freezer. And when I saw them, I'm like, over the next month, things are going to be absolutely nuts. It will be good to have some of these just stashed in the freezer. So that's what I've got. And then I did also uh, see the these restaurante. 
Uh, this was a pepperoni one, thin and crispy pizza. These were half price, so they were $4.25. I think it said half price, but it's cheap anyway. So $4.25, so that's another one. I can add some extra toppings to that, um, and we can have that as a pizza as well. So um, just stashing a few things away, I've actually, as well as my five days of full-time work, now that I'm back from leave, we have Market Saturday, Market Sunday for the next three weeks. So I'm going to be seven days a week. So we've got uh, doing what I can with meals during the week. But I'm thinking if I crash and burn on the weekend, I need to have something that we can just have in a hurry. This may be one of them. This is my bunch offer for this week. So it's cauliflower bites. The Woolies one, it says crisp cauliflower florets coated in a fragrant herb crumb and lightly oven roasted for that irresistible crunch. Served with a classic ranch dressing or honey mustard dip. It's 200 grams, says they cook in 17 minutes. These were actually $5.30, but because I'm part of the Woolworths Bunch, they were free as long as I go onto the Bunch uh, website and do a review after we've eaten them. So I will try and get these done our first time we need a meal in a hurry so that I can do my review because once you do your reviews you get more products so check it out if you're not part of it Woolworths Bunch uh, they set they put free items onto your card and you can just as long as you review them you keep getting products and I've got oh I don't know 30 odd products over the last 12 months maybe quite a lot sometimes I get one a week sometimes I get two a week sometimes I'll go a week without any but yeah so that's what we've got so they will be definitely worth a try. Um, then I've got some Harvey Fresh Milk, two litres. Now the carton looks a bit manky, but I did check them and it had just looked like something had spilt on the whole like crate of milk because there were quite a few that were like this and it's sort of just maybe like a milk powder or something, I'm not quite sure. But it's sealed and they were all looking okay. So we got that one. That's the 3rd of December, which will get us through to the end of next week. It was $4.85 for the two litres. They didn't have any of the smaller bottles, so I just got that one because I'm sure we'll go through it or I'll do something with it. Chobani, this is the Greek yogurt. These were on special this week, so the 907 grams was $5.50. Normally I get the browns one that's a kilo for $6, and I thought, well, we'll try this one and see how it goes, just so we've got like a backup. Um, we know whether the family likes it and we'll eat that. We'll sometimes just have a berry sauce on that. Uh, Flavorista have got a really nice berry sauce and we just drizzle a bit on the top of that. Uh, my son was never really a, a fan of the fruit lumps in yogurt, so we discovered the berry sauce in the plain Greek yogurt goes down a treat. Then my next one, I've got some of the brown sour cream. These are the small 200 grams. I normally get these for... Um, my markets because I do samples with the spice blends however I have got 10 cart 10 containers in my shop today because I've been asked to do nibbles for 60 bowls men tomorrow I'm going to make up um, thinking of doing a, a plate that will for you know feed maybe eight and I can make a dip we'll have crackers we can have cheese and salamis and cold meats and things the bowling club are actually buying that stuff i'm just making up the dips so there's only the stuff for the dips in my shop today and then like i said i've got markets saturday sunday this week saturday sunday next week saturday sunday the week after so i was needing some extra ones so there's a couple in there for me and eight for the bowling club they were two dollars eighty each so that was a total of 28 dollars um that definitely helped add up my shopping for this week then we've got a Gippsland this is the passion fruit twist yogurt these were on special they're 720 grams for six dollars my husband loves the passion fruit yogurt so I got him one of them so he'll have one for the week then I got a feta so we can do like Greek salad or something this week um, this is just the 200 grams Woolies one it's a really good one to crumble on your dishes, but also if you just want to have a slice to add in with a salad, it's great as well. I'm kicking myself I just got one lot of mints this week. I think I should have got two, but we'll see how we go. I might even have some in the freezer. I'll have to have a dig around. So 500 kilos of beef mints. I was meant to get pork, but they didn't have any. 
So this 500 kilos of lean beef mince today was $9.50. It's just going up so much. But I thought what I might do with this one, one of my recipes is Swiss meatballs, which you do obviously make your meatballs up and do them in like a creamy sauce. But with the way the weekend is going, I've still got to finish packing the car for tomorrow's market. So we had one market this morning and it's already... 20 past four i want to try and get this video up tonight if i can so i'll do that straight away um but i'm thinking what i might do with this mince today is make a taco salad with it mix it with some kidney beans some mexican spice mix uh cook it up and we have it on crunched up corn chips with a tomato cucumber cheese and lettuce so i'm thinking that that might be tea because then that'll do tea tonight and tea tomorrow for us and then if my hubby's late home today or we're both late home tomorrow, we will have that to eat. There was a recipe this week to do butter chicken. And it, uh, it said to have chicken thighs. They only had chicken breast. And I don't really like doing butter chicken with chicken breast because I find it can sometimes be a bit dry. This was all I could find and it's diced leg. And it's 500 grams, so it should still do for us. Um, it was $9 for that one, but that's all they had. So, like I said, beggars can't be choosers. That's what we've got. Um, the Dosonia Mild Tasty Sticks. These are the 400 grams. They weren't on special. And I'm sure they haven't been paying $10 for them, but that's how much they now are. So, uh, we've got those because all three of us snack on those. Kay will take some in his lunch. And my hubby will have them after work and I might have one while I'm cooking tea. So this is a sizzle steak. Now this I'm going to slice up and do our Philly cheesecake steak stuffed capsicums with. But if there's a little bit more there, because it's 400 grams, I don't know how much I'll need for the stuffed capsicums. I might even do a bit of a stir fry or cook it up and do a fried rice or not really sure. We'll see how the wheat pans out with that one. But that was $12 for that 400 grams. Kale's favourite cheese, there was none on the shelf. Sliced cheese for his lunch. So we ended up with this Chia Tasty. It's 24 um, slices. So it's the same cheese as before. It's just a different brand. Um, these were $10.40 on special. So normally they were up over $12 for this size. So that's another thing I've noticed has gone up quite considerably. But we buy it when we need it, so uh, that's what we've got. Uh, then we have some paper towel, beaver paper towel. This is never on special. It's like toilet paper. You just buy it when you need it. So two rolls of $6.55, and that will last me quite a long time. And by the time I got to this end of the shop, I was a bit starting to, the prepper in me was starting to think we can't afford to run out of these things coming into the Christmas New Year period. So I did get an extra bottle of distilled water for my husband's CPAP machine. $2.30. I think I've still got one in the laundry, but I uh, just thought I'll grab another one while it was there on the shelf. Um, and also for him, the Sukin for Men 3-in-1 wash. These were half price today. So I grabbed one of those. It was $6. It's the Sport Fragrance, and he quite likes those ones. He found one of the palm olive ones was actually... Uh, we think giving him like a little bit of a, a rash or a like red itchy skin. So we're just trying that one for a bit and it seems to be working okay. So we've got that one and then also, keep going around the other side of the camera, the Oral-B um, Dental Science brands were half price. So I got the Bacteria Defence one, so my husband uses those as well. And I think he's still got some left but they were half price so I grabbed one. Then Kale's lunch, the LCM bars were on special again this week. I got him the caramel one to try them. They didn't have any of his normal ones on the shelf. So we'll just see this and see how we go. So that was $4 for the six bars. So he'll pop them in his lunch. And I've just realised I've missed a couple of things. So let's just go back and have a look. The super glue, that's right. Sally super glue. These were on special this week they did also have the larger tubes now the larger tube was cheaper than the three smaller ones i think the large tube is three mils and these are three one mils but i don't know about you but when i'm using super glue 
I never use the whole tube. I'll use a bit and then try and keep it all nice. And you've got to use again, it's always dried up or it's gone all crappy or you can't get the lid off it. it goes manky. So I saw this and I thought, well, these are single shots. It's probably going to be better value to buy this one. Uh, that was $4.40 for the three. And I got a feeling it was about $3 for the three mil one. So we'll try this. My flavor mr earrings my big round white ones that i wear have um it's come off the little earring um stem that goes through your ear so i'm going to try and fix them so that's what i've got to do with that and i've got a couple in case i need to have a backup or need to try again and then uh preparing for a christmas dry ginger ale these were on special but they were two dollars marked down from two dollars fifty so i got two for four dollars they can be down to a dollar fifty sometimes or even a dollar but i think leading up to christmas we won't find those kind of specials and like i've said before we're in a holiday destination all that kind of stuff in the drinks aisle just completely disappears the week before christmas i couldn't find any tonic last year to take away um, for our gin and tonic or was it oh i wanted to keep it for new year's or something like that so I've learnt my lesson. I'm going to start buying some earlier in December so that we have got them. Then the tin spaghetti. My husband had a request for tin spaghetti. Couldn't find any of the Heinz ones on the shelf. But I did find the SPC spaghetti rich tomato. These ones were on special for $1.10 a can. So I got one of the rich tomato, one of the cheesy cheddar. We usually buy the SPC baked beans. Um, haven't tried the spaghetti for a while. I did have the Heinz in the cupboard last time, but it can be in the cupboard for ages and we don't have it. And then all of a sudden, my husband and my son have a rush on it where they would like it. So we'll pop those in the cupboard and see how we go. Pitted Kalamata olives. These will be for our Greek salad. They're just the Woolworths brand. They were 340 grams for $3, which was the best value. Kale's apple wedges were on special. These were worked out to be the same price as the home brand ones today. So they were $3.50 for the 200 gram bag, which uh, is a good price because that will last him for a while. I got two tins of coconut milk. I'm going to start doing um, some chia puddings to take to work. I had such a oh, absolutely crazy week this week at work. I'd been away, so I was back to early's, which is a half past seven start, but our mornings were just crazy. And I was getting to the point I wasn't having breakfast before I got to work. I was making a coffee about 8.30 and having something to eat then. And then that sets me up to either want to snack all day or, you know, just not eat properly for the day. So I've got some coconut milk. I'm going to make some chia pudding. And I usually put that in a container with some Greek yogurt and a little bit of muesli on top maybe a sweet dukkha or something. Um, and then I will be tempted to have that as soon as I get to work, if I haven't had time to have breakfast, that will fill me up and mean that, you know, hopefully I don't eat too much bad food. But I am um, back to lates this week, but because we're a fairly quiet time of the year, my lates are still starting at eight o'clock. So it's still quite early, but we'll see how we go. Then um, Caramel Share Pack, this is for Kale. Um, they were, what were they? $3.50, so these were on special. Um, he can just stick them in his little um, stash of chocolate and have those for the next week or two. I got another jar of pesto because we did have cheesy spaghetti during the week after I got back from Bunbury and we were knackered. So... Pesto, sun-dried tomato, this is the one that was on special. It was the Legos one, it was $3.80, and that's fine. We'll just do that. I did have a think that maybe I don't have enough shredded cheese, but I've still got a bit of a block of cheese left from last week, so we'll be able to do that if we need to. Arnott's biscuits, when they're on special, I'll sometimes buy my husband Monte Carlo's or something along those lines. They were not on the shelf. There were Delta creams and those lemon crisp ones. I don't mind them, but hubby doesn't, so... I got these ones, they were $2.50 and then because I'd seen these on the shelf and this is another thing that was really hard to come by last year, this is the, oh it's upside down, the Essentials brand spaghetti, it's Australian pasta, it's 500 grams, they are only 80 cents so I always keep a couple of these in the cupboard for when we need to have them for our cheesy spaghetti or something else 
Um, and being 80 cents for Australian pasta, like it's just a good thing to keep in your pantry, especially if you are trying to save money for the week or you've had bills come in and you're trying to just, you know, be a little bit more sharper on your spending because you can pay up to $3 for one of the other packets and, you know, a packet of this goes a long way. So we've got those and the So Soft Marshmallows were on special this week, so I did grab them for Kale. Um, these will definitely last him more than the week because it's a big 300 gram bag for $3.50. But he's been really good. He is going to be helping me at all my markets. So him and I, we have uh, seven markets over the next four weeks. And I think we've got three markets this week, three next, three, uh, sorry, two markets this week, two markets next, two the week after. Then we've got one market on a Sunday and the following Saturday market is actually Christmas Eve. So there is no rest for the wicked. We are going to be flat out. So uh, if he wants to take some of those with us to the markets or have them as a treat when we get home, I'm really not going to be fussed because it's going to be such a big week with him also finishing school, coming to the end of his first year of high school. So very proud of how he's uh, worked this year. He's worked very hard. We've got a kilo bag of crazy carrots. These are the odd bunch. $1.40 these ones were. Now, well, these are a bit sneaky today. I'd gone around and done most of my shopping before I realised that all the odd bunch stuff they had on the furthest side of the veggie section um, and all together, which they don't normally do that. So I'm going to head straight over there in future, see what I can get out of the odd bunch and then fill up my trolley after that. So they were $1.40. The apple odd bunch, I got the kilo. They didn't have the two kilos again. These are the adorable apples. So these are the same ones I got the other day and I was taking one of them to work every day and they're actually pretty good. So they're $3.50. So I got those ones. Then we got the cukes, the baby cucumbers, the Mr. Kale's lunch, 250 grams. They're $3.90 and then the mini carrots for him as well. So this is only half a kilo, but the carrots are a lot smaller. So he can actually just chuck a whole carrot in his lunchbox um, and just munch on them. They're $1.80. Snow peas, so these weren't on special, but like I said, we go through a bag of these a week pretty much. So 250 grams, $5.90. I had them in my lunch this week as well. I was taking cold silver side um, with cute carrots, uh, cheese, beans, peas, olives, whatever I could find. Um, I needed to get bean shoots this week, but they didn't have any, so we're just going to have to make do without. I've got a continental cucumber. Now, these are huge. These are back to good price again, so... These are $1.50 and they've been an enormous price, but this is great. So hopefully some of these things are starting to come back. I did get a big iceberg lettuce. Now this one's very heavy compared to some of the icebergs that we've been having recently. And it was only $3.50. So making the most of that, like I said, maybe taco salad, maybe um, if I've got some more mints, maybe do some like bunless burgers where you do your burger and your cheese and tomato and things and then you do like a like a cupped couple of lettuce leaves top and bottom instead of your burger, something like that. Um, we'll probably try that, but I thought we'll make the most of the lettuce. Baby spinach, we've got this again now. That was $3 for 120 grams. When we're having salad with tea, we might have a Greek salad, but Kale will just have um, salad things. So he'll just have carrot, cucumber, Beans, he likes baby spinach, cheese, things like that. So he'll tend to have that if we're having a Greek salad because he doesn't like tomatoes, he doesn't like feta, and he doesn't like olives, and he doesn't like red onion. So we tend to do all that. Um, but, yeah, I don't push that stuff onto him. He eats enough stuff that's really good, so we just make it work. Sugar snap peas as well. Uh, they're 150 grams. They were $4.50. They don't have the bigger bags of these, so we just got one, and that will just do. And then the eggs... Here again, beggars can't be choosers. We've ended up with the Hill River Free Range from Durian Bay. 700 grams. They are $6.90. And they were the cheapest eggs that I could find on the shelf. The other ones were all up over up to $9 for a dozen eggs, which is just, yeah, just crazy. So we've got those. Kale's going through a phase of raisin toast, but he tends to just have the raisin bread. He'll just eat it like it is with a bit of butter, something like that. So that was $4. They were on special. They're on, it's only the smaller loaf, but he'll still munch through that this week. 
So I got him one of those and also for his sandwiches to start the week off, we got the extra soft white loaf. It's the 800 gram one, so it is bigger, but those slices, they're enormous. So if we make sandwiches out of those, it'll definitely be a mouthful. So he will have his ham and cheese sandwiches. Now there's no ham because he, well, I've still got the ham left over that I bought last week because he hadn't quite gone through it all from the week before. So um, my hubby has asked for crumpets for breakfast tomorrow. Markets are crazy, so I don't tend to cook. I tend to have a keto coffee on the run. So he's off to bowls as well. So we got those. They were, I'd like to say they were half price, but I don't know what the full price is. They're $2.75 for the six squares. So possibly they are half price this week. And then my clearance item out of the bakery because I'm thinking I might have some of this for toast tomorrow. This is the 35 hour sourdough loaf, the Kalamata olive one. Um, we've had this a couple of times before. We've had the garlic and olive oil one and that was really tasty. It's mar was only marked from $6 down to $4.38, which isn't a great saving. But I like to slice it, toast it, and then just have, I've still got some tomatoes left in the fridge, have some cheese or some ham or some sliced tomato on it, and it makes a really satisfying brekkie. So that was what I had there. So that is my shop for this week. Um, it did come to a total of $236.55. But here's the exciting bit. They've released the Woolworths Rewards Christmas Dollars. And because of the couple of weeks that we've had, I used it. I was going to save it for Christmas, get our ham and turkey and things, but um, we needed it this week, so I've used it. So this whole shop today, I used 230 of my rewards dollars. So uh, the lady asked me to pay $6.55. So I, it was a, a very good shop. I'm very, very happy with that. Um, it's certainly going to make this week a lot easier for us. I did reach a, um, a reward level as well. I got a message to so an email to say that I needed to spend, must have been, I don't know, $220 or something or other to get an extra chunk of points. And I did do that. So with that and my three times points for being a everyday extra rewards member, I got over 4,000 points with my shopping today, which is excellent. So I've still got in my bank to use for Christmas $190, which will pay most of my shop next week. And next week I am planning to get the ham and the turkey to pop in the fridge because if I leave it too close to Christmas, there won't be any left on the shelf. So that is my plan. I did receive an extra 12 credits towards the glassware and crockery, etc., I didn't even think about it when I was down that end of the store and by the time I remembered, I wasn't going to go back to see what they had left on their little stand. So I haven't got anything. I will try and pick up something next week and I'm thinking about maybe the beer glasses or the drinking glasses. We'll try them and just see how they go. So that's what I've got for this week. So it's uh, a back to almost a normal shop with what we can actually physically buy. Um, but I am very pleased that we were able to use our Woolies Rewards money um, wondering if you guys have had yours unlocked too are you using it as well they did say you normally it's first of december but they did say they were going to unlock it or well, you had the option of unlocking it mid-november if you wanted to use it early because of the way that everything's going with supply and stuff so very happy they did i'm very happy with this week's shop uh, we're back to like i said four weeks of work lots of markets so hopefully i'll be able to get some subscription boxes up for you i did have a couple of arrive while i was away i just physically haven't had the time to be able to film them but i'm going to do my best to sneak them in in between my markets etc but i'm going to quickly run off now and see if i can edit this one and get it up tonight so in the meantime i hope you're all having a great day take care and i will see you in the next one bye